why do I do what I do? Because I love the look on a person's face when they've achieved something for themselves. What's important in care is putting people at the centre of everything you do. And as a manager, that's not just me. The individuals that we support is putting the staff team there as well and appreciating the individuality of everybody and appreciating the hard work. It's important to smile. Smile costs nothing. Someone who's really supportive to me at work is my supervisor, Helen. Um, she's really good because her support doesn't end just at work. She always messages me outside of work and make sure I'm OK. If I had a bad day, she's always there for me and she's always fighting my corner. So I say really nice, positive things about me and making sure that I get recognised for my achievements. So the person that I enjoy working with is um, Katie. She's our technical instructor and creative genius. Um, and what she what she doesn't and can't do with service, service users isn't worth knowing. She's absolutely fantastic. Um, she doesn't sing her own praises enough um, and we think she's great. My amazing person is Kirsty Lane. Senior where I work, she, she's very calm, very knowledgeable, very experienced. She astounds me with the knowledge and the experience that she's got. Never ever flaps, knows the answer to every question I ask. One of the hardest moments uh, in my career so far is uh, one of my uh, ladies uh, died. Um, where I had to, the family wanted me to organise their funeral, um, which I did on their behalf. Um, and one of the really hardest part was um, getting the photo for it, so it could be on the coffin. Um, but outside of it was, it was a beautiful funeral. One of the moments that hurt most is uh, sporting a chap called Dave. I sported its end of life, I was actually with him uh, as he passed away. I'd gone back a long way, I'd worked with him in domiciliary care, sporting him out in the community before I moved to the Oaklands. And really it was a privilege. And as sad as it was, I went home and broke my heart. I was just so privileged that I could spend the last moments with him. I think the things important in care are to remember that uh, individuals are individuals and if it takes a carer or a nurse one hour to all that and then it takes one hour and should be governed by time limits and constraints just to please the people. The day that really hurt me and still does is the day I supported a guy to leave Jubilee Court to a new home. He didn't want to leave and it took the best part of the day to get him settled in his new place and I would take challenging behaviours every day rather than have to do that again. Hiya. Being a manager, I suppose you, you might think it's all about paperwork. The best thing I, I have most days is I've got a gentleman with dementia. He'll come into my office and he'll be all anxious. All his anxiety is going 10 to the dozen. And uh, he'll come and he'll have half an hour with me. We put the world to rights to see him leaving after, you know, with a big smile on his face after coming in so anxious and upset. I'm driving home at night thinking, What's the best thing you've achieved today? You know what, it's that half an hour with that gentleman. Okay, I nominate uh, Yvette Davis. She's one amazing uh, lady. Um, she's always thinking what to do next for, the, for our guys. Even when she's at home, she's texting me or messaging me with different ideas what to do for them. She's just so caring. When I first started working at Rosalie, there was a lady there that had been there for two years and really struggled to go out. I became her key worker and supported her for intensely for four years and managed to get her out. Now you can't keep her in and it's brilliant. My magical moment was working with a new service user whose mum said that we would never get him cooking um, or engaging in any sort of cooking activities and we started off doing small things like making a sandwich, buttering bread um, and we ended up with him in the main kitchen cooking for all the rest of the service users and staff. My yeah. magical moment was when I supported uh, one of our guys on holiday in Yarmouth uh, the guy is predominantly non-verbal and we spent the whole weekend in conversation and it absolutely transformed me and realised I was a support wing. My magical moment was we had a charity football match uh, for one of uh, staff members who died 
um, we've got one of my uh, lads um, who loves to play football uh, we got him involved in the match um, he came on the last 10 minutes and he scored a penalty uh, and he run around with his hands up in the air celebrating his goal and he ran over as well to his uh, mum and dad and gave them a really big hug and we're so proud I love my job because everybody's different in their own way I love my job because it gives me the opportunity to bring out the best in the people I work with I've got a lady in my team, Denise Parry uh, she comes into my office says I've got an idea, it's probably silly but can I get run with it and one morning she came and says Dave says can we start a dementia calf where people from outside the Oaklands can come in and you know, we can help support them, we can do things and the passion that she's got for it and a year and a half on it's thriving and she's still got that same enthusiasm and she's just amazing, just infectious enthusiasm and commitment and passion. I love my job because of the rewards of the progress of every individual we support is worth every challenge it took to get us there.